this time and seeing Andrew Fafita of New South Wales and Australia no less coming at you so the second half they're underway the Sharks by a point and it's Gallon well, they turned it over already there was a knock on out wide it was Ricky Latelli putting it down it wasn't a great ball it has to be said from Paul Gallon and gives the Knights a chance to resume the lead here's McKinnon coming across to Bo Scott for feeder beaten for pace oh those Scott's ball over the top intended support on the outside finds the touch judge yeah a couple of poor passes here one from Gallon to start it and the next from Bo Scott but they quickly get the ball and for back into the play and play on with the touch. Important. Up there, Alex! Hold it, hold. They've had by far the better of the scoring Not chances, long. Newcastle, but turn over a couple of soft turnovers in great position. The Sharks get a penalty. Carney finds the line quickly. Hold They'll hold have it. it at their own 40. Michael Leisha tapping it, giving it out of there near the way they'll there, play it there just short of the halfway the line there. through... Andrew Fafita. And now Carney giving it to Graham, getting past one and another one. Rocco unable to wrap him up. Tedovano was there. Lovely skills with the swivel and the tackle, made an extra 10 and ball still available. Leisha searching out of dummy half, not much doing for him. Nathan Stapleton was headed infield. He decided to take the tackle as Gallon finds Holdsworth. Goes to Carney. Holdsworth once again had Leisha in support. He found Gallon though. He fires it out the back. Carney, too much speed from close range. The Sharks extend the lead, and it's Todd Carney who dives in to make it a five-point buffer. Paul Gallant, he might have thrown a horror pass to start the second half down the far end of the football field, but a run right through to the middle as only Gal knows how. And then some pretty skillful play. I haven't seen this from Gal too much. Look at this. Takes a contact. Had a swivel in there as well. Two-handed pass back to Carney. Puts on the burners and reaches out. But the work's done by Gallon. Lovely work up the middle. Well, that is dangerous. You can offload like that from close range. It is hard to stop a player of Todd Carney's speed and power. Holdsworth misses with the conversion attempt off the drop goal attempt. It stays at 11-6. And that will be a, a big relief for the Knights in that five-point range. Todd it. County will get us back underway. Highlights the fact that the try scorers restart play. For those of you just joining us. Ah, Kuyuwate bringing it out. Tackled beautifully Here's there. The way, nice effort around the legs by New Brown. It goes across through McKinnon. Here's a chance. Mullen, a show and go. And he's away. They lure just a little bit off the pace in trying to loom up in support. Mullen still going, though. Two Must have beaten four or five of them. Inside the Sharks, 40. From Smith to Rocco. Comes across to Uwate. Two in from the wing, stepping. Tagatizi got a piece of him. He dumps it out the back. Good hands from Scott. They keep it alive through Smith. Mullen, likewise, gives it to McKinnon. Rocco looming up in support. He puts the foot down and charges at them. Only 10 metres out with tackles to play with. McKinnon, Iwate, just trying to crash his way across. Great tackle by Nathan Stapleton. Smith it is. They go to the right. Mullen, a kick was pinpoint perfect. BJ Leilua with the catch. It was a pass with the foot. And the Knights have a chance to go back in front. Aku did a lot of work here. Nearly got himself across the try line in front of the post. And then a beautiful kick. You know, I don't know if he's actually got this perfectly right here. Here's Mullen when he made the bust. Beautiful bust upfield. Didn't throw a speculator. Important to maybe take the tackle and go. And then right here, well, the way that ball rotates, I'm not sure it was a conventional kick or exactly what he wanted. But it was perfect for Leilua. And the kick, the all-important kick, is good. And the Knights... Once again, have the lead at 12-11. I saw the Newcastle Knights in the hotel yesterday. Would you believe they were playing tennis for the warm-up for this competition? <laughs> got to, got to B, B, BJ Lalua, he's not much of a tennis player. He sort of batted it back occasionally. But Bo Scott seemed to have the handle on the racket. Jeremy Smith with the restart for Newcastle. That was one of the things for the 
the teams in the build-up, everybody, it was the theme of the last two or three days. Everyone saying, we don't know what to do in preparation for this. But the basics, always a pretty good place to start. And that was, that was nothing more than basic for Jared Mullen. He, he creamed it. You're kidding, Daryl. Now a quick penalty, a tap, and Gardner is off. He brings it up towards the halfway line. He'll be stopped there by the try scorer, BJ Leilua. 12-11 with three and a half minutes remaining. In game number one of the Auckland Nines, as Carney is off, chased and dragged down from behind by Gagai. The feeder at dummy half. He goes through the hands there of Aceford. Gallen, wider still, Graham to Gardner. They look dangerous, but there are plenty of numbers defensively there for Newcastle. They've done well sliding across the field, but the play develops further. Gallen back on the inside for Graham. Spins away from Leilua, gets away from another. Leilua comes again to stop him from scoring. A couple of metres out. A ball out in front for Farmanu Brown. Did he get there? No, he knocked it on. Farmanu Brown thought he was there. Just dislodged from his hands a metre short. The skills of Wade Graham. I thought he was a player to watch in this competition. Just with ball and a slight of hand, not the biggest guy, but a great creative back rower. He was marvellous. His feeder wants a bit of a bit of an argument over a pork pie. Uh, it's hot in Northland. The boys are steamy at the back end of the game, and there was a bit of a disagreement there for a moment. Let's go. The Knights won't mind a breather. The referee wants them to go quickly, which they do. With two and a half minutes remaining. Daniel now! Still oh, time yeah, for the way, Sharks. Boy, As Tedovano works it up towards the halfway Turn line. He'll be stopped there by Brown, who's been okay. impressive in this stint. He's played plenty of minutes as well. Now Uwate running towards Holdsworth, who wraps Daniel. him up one on one. Jeremy Smith getting a breather. There's no dummy half for Newcastle. Bo Scott was looking out to his left hand side. Good work. Holdsworth, first to tackle one-on-one -on -one was a tough job with Aku, and then to get the ball from dummy half. Wright goes on a bit of a sortie. Sire Fecky on his outside. He comes back on the inside, though. Now Gardner looking up through Graham, bouncing off defenders once again. He's still going, Gardner. Eventually dragged down, and a good tackle by Dane Gagai with some help. Holdsworth just outside the 20. Graham trying to get away from Bo Scott. Not too many managed to do that. Here. Go. Yeah, thanks, Three tackles gone in this set. Holdsworth. Oh, a hospital pass for Matt Pryor. Tag it easy under pressure. Last he wrapped up there by Bo Scott. And this Holy will be man, the last right here. Go. Here's Brown going wide. In fact, it was Michael Leischer out there at dummy half now. A chance. Draw and pass. Fecky. One more. Gardner hangs on to it. With 60 seconds remaining. Sharks the lead. Great work. Nathan Gardner tries to improve the position. But what I like about this was the last play. Didn't look for a kick. Had some numbers out there. The pass was hard. It was flat. And it bounced off his left shoulder. Have a look at this. But good composure. Just to balance himself and reach out with the right hand. Regather the football and put it down. That'll be the game. Or close to it for Cronulla as Holdsworth will take his time with a conversion. Last play option, good shift of the football from Cronulla. They have moved it in the second spell from right to left with good execution. A chance for Holdsworth from out wide to add the extra two. That misses. And we'll wait and see if the Knights can get to the restart. Get the ball back up the field at once. Todd Carney supplies it. 17, rather 15, 12. Barely 10 seconds remaining. Carney. He goes deep as you would expect. Jake Marmo to bring it back. He puts the foot down. He pops the ball out the back. The siren sounds. This is it for the Knights. Roberts. He goes to Houston. He puts a kick in. Now a chase, but it goes into touch. And it's the Sharks who take the opening contest of these Auckland Nines at Eden Park.
15 points to 12 they've won. And coming up next, we're going to have the Tigers up against the Titans.